not really true, just like uh, drawing like a quick sketch of people, but I draw also the emotion of the people, the feeling that I see inside of the people. I used to go home crying most of the time. It doesn't make me feel well at all. I sometimes cry alone in the room. I literally felt so sad that internally I felt like I was alone. It kind of made me feel a bit sad sometimes. Very unhappy. It used to make me sad and invisible. And it used to um, allow me to feel a sense that I've been isolated and outcast from the world. It was something that affected me and it, it made me so depressed that I think at one point I was almost suicidal because it, it, it literally destroyed the person that I was becoming. I remember once I did one of the couple drawings, but after drawing that, I finished my drawing as perfect it was, but the wife came to me and she was complaining about herself, about the mouth of her, of her husband. And then she was asking me to change the mouth of her husband. I just to ask her, why? Because the drawing is perfect. I just did what I see because I always draw what I see. Oh no, just please, can you just change this? I was just like, how come? How come can I change? Because the emotion of the picture is different from the emotion of the mouth that I will put. So you are asking me to change the mouth. How can I? I cannot do that. Or oh, just try to make it a little bit nice because I don't. I don't like the way it is. And I did it to, just to satisfy her. I think I would. I think I would. I wouldn't want to change it at all. I honestly wouldn't. If I had the opportunity and if it was possible. No, I wouldn't change it. My insecurity is my teeth. Uh, I have a little gap in my teeth. Um, it started just, um, I think I was about nine or ten. You know, when as a little boy you grow up for a little Kid, you grow up and then you lose your baby teeth and then the big ones come out so um, mine kind of stuck and pushed the one of my tooth back so that was a little insecurity that I have I kind of still have it um, I realized that um, I still have it because I do not smile in my pictures at all I've always been secure about my weight and it's something that has always played a vital role in my life I remember when I had a friend that teased me because I couldn't fit into a pair of jeans. I become, I became very conscious that I'm a full-figured woman and I had to accept that. And it's a reality that you always think to yourself, but it comes with acceptance. It comes with acceptance of the type of woman that you are and the things that make you the person that you are. So for the longest time, being a full-figured woman has something that has affected me, but I then realized, let me take this and make it a positive thing. So I've, I've come to a point where I've fell in love with my skin, I've fell in love with who I am and how I look in the mirror, and I must say, I love who I am and who I've become. My insecurities is my mouth, as you can, as you can see, it's, it's not straight, you know. So people used to tease me about it, you know about how it's not straight and, and, and I became aware of that because my friends used to, used, to, used to laugh at me and used to tease me about it, you know, not being straight and, 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 and I found that I was the only one amongst my friends who has a mouth like that. I remember when I was a child, people used to make justice about my head. They used to tell me that my head is too small and I was feeling like very bad about myself. But the more I'm growing, I understand who I am. That I am not this head because my head is so perfect and I have a, I have a perfect knowledge. Insecurity is still there, but I, I'm, I'm willing to, to keep it. That's a while. I'm... I've accepted and I love myself the way I am. It's helped me become a stronger person and has made me who I am. There is advantages and disadvantages to my height. 
um, I don't think I'll change it, I love it. I no longer feel that way. I, I've come to accept the woman that I am and allow how I look. It's a journey. I had to get to a point where I would look at myself completely naked in front of the mirror and I would love how my skin looks. I, will, I, I would look at all the positive things about my body and it made me fall in love all over again with how I look. And I, I walk proudly. My confidence is, is better. I think I'm at a point now where I can, I can wear a towel and I feel absolutely amazing and absolutely beautiful. We've become a society that that looks at the exterior more than the interior. Art is always beauty and it's just like beauty is one. Everything in life is an art. It's always beautiful because we are all piece of art.